Hey everybody, it's Jane. Today's the day. New Iron Orchid. And I'm getting myself set up here. I was just on with my wonderful Surface Anthology membership members talking about um, this month's project. And I always have so much fun talking to them that I don't keep track of time. So here I am. Let me move my computer. I have a link for you guys below so you can see the entire um, Iron Orchid line at my website. But let's, let's start looking. All right, let me get these wires out. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys are, let me put this on solo so I can get in a little bit closer are the molds. This is called the Juliet Mold. Now let me show you what it looks like. I am, as always, I'm like super excited about um, any new release. But look at this, it's beautiful. So this is a a um, like a branch of roses and you think Juliet right Ro Romeo and Juliet hey Julie Julie you're like Juliet this is the first thing I'm showing off and this is called a Juliet mold Julia Julie and it's these beautiful roses and I really really like these roses we've got a branch down here and it kind of intertwines, like, so this all makes sense. And um, I will bet you, you can lay this out with clay and then using an X-Acto blade, if you wanted to cut some of these apart, you could totally do that. Because they're all kind of individual. They're not too overlapped, so you could do that. But it's really, really beautiful. So that's number one. You love roses, right? Me too. I'm with you. All right. So there's the first product. Here's the second. Now, this is the one that I know all of us um, Iron Orchid Sockets were talking a lot about because it's very unusual. Um, it, it doesn't... It's just... It's, it's a different design. It's beautiful. Hey, Kim. Don't you love it, right? Now, Kim, you're over on YouTube. So anybody on YouTube, you got to get that, right, Julie? <laughs> anybody on YouTube, I haven't had a chance, obviously, to put a link like I'm able to do here in um, on Facebook. But go to chalkmercantile.com, and I put the whole new collection right there on the front page. You just have to scroll just a tad. Now, this one, look at this. I absolutely love this. This is called Primitive, and it's a lot of, um, gosh, when you look at, when I would go to like antique shows, and you would see those butter presses that are carved, right? That's what this reminds me of. But there's also something very modern about this, and I find that a lot with so-called primitive, you know, antiques. But look at this, we have a pomegranate, of course, the fabulous rabbits. They're beautiful, right? And um, there's a whole little new kind of little leafy detail here. Another bird, right? Um, thistle, of course, the tulip. I love, love, love this. And I love, I'm really, I love animals and people, figurative work. These rabbits are just beautiful. Kim says, I don't know where to find your website. It was over at Iron Orchid Designs, but they were taking too long. You couldn't stand it. It's just at chalkmercantile.com, Kim. That, that's all you have to do, and you can look at everything together. So C-H-A-L-K-M-E-R-C-A-N-T-I-L-E.com. So this one that I can't wait to use is called Primitive. Now, the last new mold, it's fabulous, right, Julie? This one is called Flourishes. And this kind of falls more in line with um, a lot of the molds that I use, like the Laurel mold, that kind of thing. 
Scandinavian, right, Kim? It does. It does look really Scandinavian, the primitive one. This one is fabulous also. And it is. It's all these beautiful flourishes. So, like, I know I love to make wreaths and different things, frames. So this mold is going to fall right in with, like, the olive crest mold, the laurel mold. Um, but I just have more now, right? But it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful little details. I love making Christmas ornaments, that kind of thing. So this is going to be fabulous. And for those of you that use resins, I don't, I haven't used it yet. These all do have the amounts on them that you need to mix up and use. But look at this one right here. That beautiful, right? That would be a beautiful ornament. I'm really into making Christmas ornaments. All right, so that is the third mold. Now we're going to move on to the paint inlays. You know I love paint inlays, and I can't wait to use these. There's only two. This is called Trump Loy, and this is called Trump Loy Blue. And I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm going to actually open this one up if I could find... the edge here without ripping this. Ken says, actually said, I know, oh, you know where to find a website because I've ordered, okay. Oh, I'm so glad. Kim is saying that the shipping was fast. Thank you, Kim. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about the new line that I'm not even reading right. So this is tr the Trump Loy, right? Look at these. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It is. These are stunning. These are just stunning, like antique wallpaper. Now, you can use, as we're going through this, because I'm always looking for stuff, can I do, you know, cut it apart and use it for, like, one project, right? And this, you could definitely do that. Let's see what's on the next page. Look at these. Oh, beautiful. All these little motifs, stunning, absolutely stunning. This is the first time that I'm actually that I've I'm actually opening and looking at these. These are very very delicate and really beautiful. Look at that. Now I want to do a whole wall in this gorgeous, right, Julie? I want them all, says Kim. I'm with you. I love them. All right, and there's, I think there's, how many pages did I just go through? These are just beautiful, really, really just delicate, really feminine, but not too feminine. I have to say that too. These aren't like over the top frilly. All right, let's see, how many pages? We've got four pages, and if you guys look, do you see how they're using these on furniture? I love, right? There's just one on an urn. And there, look at those. Beautiful. You've been waiting for this one, Kim, right? It is. it is. It's beautiful. I love the colors. You could put this blue, um, very, very delicate, really beautiful kind of a French blue over white over blue over a beautiful taupey color it would be stunning now here's the taupe this one I think this is the first one I'm going to use I'm not sure but I'll show you why look at this ah, it's stuck Look at this one. I just this is what I love. Look at this one over black. Isn't that beautiful? And you could use the blue over black also. Look at these. Gorgeous. Oh, I love <laughs> I love these colors. And I don't know, I just love the idea of this over like a beautiful black, not like a really dark graphite. I just love it. 
Let's check out, yeah, really beautiful. And these are also designs that you could use in any room. I could see these in a kind of a farmhouse, Frenchy kitchen, <clears throat> you know, on a door. They're really stunning. Gorgeous, right? I love it. I love taupes. I love creams. I think that's beautiful. But watch, I'm going to use it on something with a black base. Oh, I'm making a mess here. All right, let's put this one away and we're going to move on. Now, you do have to go to my website to see the transfers because we haven't gotten the transfers in yet. I have all of mine ordered and you can also back order them on my website. If you guys do, especially I know the Surface Anthology members, make sure you use your discount code. Um, if you do order the transfers along with other products that are in stock. I'm going to wait for the transfers to come in and ship everything together. If you want your stuff immediately, then order your transfers separately and then I'll send those out when they get here. I hope you could follow that. Now, here are the stamps. These are me. <laughs> oh my God, they're killing me. I know, aren't they great? They're beautiful. These stamps are amazing. I really love this one. And for people into furniture, these are fabulous. You know, furniture, signs, you know, bigger pieces like that. Walls, doors. You could even use like this stamp on a floor and make something really, really beautiful. So here it is. And it's got the masks, right, which is great. But look at these. And these are really, really nicely sized, and they're meant to kind of go into each other, right? So you could continue these stamps down. But for furniture trim, look at the corners and the beading, which I love. Love, love, love. This is a must-have stamp for those of you that are working on furniture and that kind of thing. Look at these little laurel leaves with the berries. I love it, love it, love it. And if you look on the back, look, isn't that stunning? Now, when I use these stamps, I use them with both the ink, with paint. I'll use them with size, right? And then I let the size come to tack, and I gold and silver leaf. The key is you got to keep your stamps clean, right? Don't let anything build up on it. But look at the beading. So this, these are so nicely sized for these bigger projects. So I'm really excited about that. Now, back to the Scandinavian. Kim, I love that you said that. The Scandinavian look, the, the primitive look, this is called Pennsylvania Folk, right? And these, and I'm a quilter too, and I did a lot of... Um, applique quilt so this also reminds me of applique of course I love anything uh, anything with a pomegranate on there there we go look at this one these are beautiful look at the pomegranate these birds are fabulous right and again there's all these wonderful kind of trims that you can use I love, love, love this. And you can keep this. You can make it very Pennsylvania Dutch kind of look. If you, if you use the colors that they used, you can make this very Scandinavian, like Kim said. It's just all about the choice of colors and texture that you use. Um, but isn't this absolutely beautiful? I love it. And I love that it's so different. And of course, it's got the mask. So you're all set with that. Moving on. Oh, Kim's saying, I love the way you give these ideas I would not have thought about. For the kitchen cupboard doors. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't those look beautiful? I, I just think they would be fabulous. Now, this one is dreamy. This one is like so, this is so, um, it's so French. Who's the painter Boucher who did 
you know, the the lovely maids on the swing. Who, oh God, I'm, I'm hope I'm thinking of the right artist. This is called, now this is two sheets. This is called Rural Scenes. And these are exquisite. I'm gonna move this so you can look through, right? Look at these trees. These just remind me of the kind of images, the engravings that they would put on toile. So you can make your own toile design. Aren't these absolutely gorgeous? Very, very detailed. Look at that little sheep, windmills. Um, and then there are these long kind of vistas, you know? Really, really beautiful. Geese, people in boats, farmers. Look at that cow. Now, they show this, and I'll show you the second sheet, but before I do that, look at, you can use these tinier stamps, right, on pieces of furniture and make an entire kind of toile painting on there. I just love that. Here's the second sheet. Let me put this over here. And you'll see, that out of the way. This is kind of that sky that's in the background. Look at how beautiful these are, how long. And the scenery, right? We've got the people down here and these beautiful farm kind of village scenes. Really, really, it reminds me of the, the French countryside. Really beautiful, you need that one. Hey Beatrice, how are you? Hey Rose, aren't the stamps amazing? You guys over on YouTube, I didn't, I don't know how to put a description with links in um, before I go live. So if you want to see the whole collection, you want to place an order, just go to chalkmercantile.com and it's all there on the front page. All right. So this is the gorgeous rural scene, which I love. And what I was going to say is not only can you use these for furniture, there's... When you take, you know, when you kind of break them down, some of the things are so tiny, they'd be beautiful on stationery, making your own cards, um, you know, me and my Christmas ornaments. They would be gorgeous, really special wrapping paper, that kind of thing. Really, really nice. All right, the last thing, this is called Reverie, and it's really exquisite. This is another stamp that has two sheets. Right, so you're getting a lot of um, bang for your buck, as they say, but a lot of really beautiful design. So let's get this out. I'm gonna put it to the side so you can see through. This one you're gonna you're gonna freak. Look at the look at this exquisite urn, right? How beautiful is that? All these beautiful plants, all the little squirrels. And then, of course, we have a breathtakingly beautiful angel on top. This is stunning. It would be beautiful for smaller projects. You could totally fit. This is all one stamp here. On a piece of furniture, she would be exquisite. On top, maybe you're making a, um, what are those mirrors called? The beautiful art on the top. She would be breathtaking. Love the cypress, right? That's it, Rose. Thank you. Cypress trees. Um, you think Kim is saying you think this is your favorite release as a whole, and you have not even seen the transfers. Wait till you see the transfers. You have go to my website, you will totally see the transfers. I have everything there. You love this one too, right, Beatrice? They're beautiful. Absolutely. Let me show you the second sheet. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> Look at this. Now you know when I see something like this, I have to go over to my cameo molds and put a mold in there. And then, you know, I would stamp first, put a mold, um, and do something beautiful with it. And and IOD, you know, they make it really easy. Here is another angel who's looking, right? Let me see if I can get that. You see how they're looking either direction, right? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. These big, beautiful kind of, I don't know. I know there's a word for these, 
But these remind me of the Louis stamp, which was one of their first stamps that I still use a lot. Um, I love these. I, I stamp linen towels with them. Aren't these beautiful? But look at the little cherubs down here. <gasps> I adore. That would be a gorgeous wedding invitation, right? Beautiful. So that's it, you guys. And again, we've got our little beading. The whole new Iron Orchid 2023 summer release. This is it. Go to chalkmercantile.com and you will see everything there. If you want to pre-order the transfers, and I put all the pictures I could find of them, they're, so they're really well detailed. You're good, the botanical one, wait till you see it, it's stunning. Um, if you order those along with any of the things that are in stock, I'm gonna hold the order, your order, until the transfers come in, and they should be in within two weeks. If you really wanna get your other stuff, you know, immediately, and I try to get them out as fast as I can, you would just uh, place the order for your transfers separately, and then you'll get your stuff all out. It is. It's all gorgeous, right, Julie? I uh, totally agree. Those of you in this, the Surface Anthology membership, please make sure that you use your discount code, right, so you get your discount, um, and have fun. Head on over. I put the link in the comments on Facebook. And when I get off here, I'm going to go over to YouTube and put the links in there. Oh, a roses. It's, it was a wonderful release. It's your favorite also. Absolutely. It's exquisite. It really is. The inlays are beautiful. And by the way, you guys, for anybody that has had issues with the inlays, maybe they're afraid to try them. I have, um, if you go to the workshop tab at Chalk Mercantile, I have a little kit that um, you'll get a board, you'll get a sheet of an inlay, you pick your color paint, and I have a pre-recorded video, a workshop, to show you how to use them, because a lot of people are still nervous about that, and I don't want you to be. Oh, Kim saying, oh, this is my heart, absolutely. It's beautiful. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Any questions, ask in the comments. And again, go to chalkmercantile.com to order. And I will see you all very, very soon. I can't wait. Now I have to head down to Deep River for you locals. And I'm going to put um, the entire line, except, of course, the transfers. When they come in, I'll put them in too. But I'm going to put them in the shop. All right? All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Happy painting.